The bottom line is that the new MX3S from Logitech is a remaster of their already iconic MX3. It's pretty much a minor upgrade from the already amazing 3 and might not be worth the upgrade if you have no issues with your current MX3. The MX Mechanical on the other hand is a completely different animal from the MX Keys. If you're like me and prefer the sound and feel of mechanical keyboards, then I'm sure you'll probably like this new addition to Logitech's Master Series production line. Personally, I'll be replacing my Logitech MX3 and Keychron K210 keyless with this new pair as my main combo for productivity. The MX Mechanical full set is going for $219 Canadian dollars, the Mini is going for $199 Canadian dollars, and the MX3S is going for $129.99, much like the MX3. Beside the actual keyboard and mouse, the MX Mechanical and 3S both come with one Logibolt receiver and one USB-A to C charging cable. They can both be paired and switched quickly between up to three different devices, including Mac, Windows, and more. The setup process is fast and easy once you've chosen how you want to connect. Both the keyboard and mouse can be connected to any computer using the Logibolt receiver or through a Bluetooth connection. Switching between devices happens quickly by pressing a single button on both, which I find to be very effective for working with multiple systems. As for the MX Mechanical, there are two choices to pick from when you're buying. You can opt for a full set keyboard with a number pad included, or a mini keyboard without it. The mini is great for smaller setups for people who prefer a minimalist setup. While the full set might suit you better if you work with the number pad a lot, or if you just prefer full set keyboards. There's also three mechanical styles to pick from. There's brown switches for tactile quiet, red switches for linear, and blue switches for clicky. I already have a 10 keyless tactile mechanical keyboard, so I opted for the full set clicky MX mechanical, which comes in the perfect two-tone graphite color. I'm a huge fan of colors that blend into virtually any setup, and the MX mechanical does just that. Both the full set and mini keyboards have low profile mechanical switches with a nice key travel. The keys have a matte finish and a dual key layout optimized for both Mac and Windows users. They feel really nice when typing and the clicky sound I opted for adds to that mechanical feel. If you find that the clicky is too loud for your taste, the tactile quiet might be a better option for you. The keyboard also has smart LED backlighting which will turn on as your hands approach the keyboard and off when your hands are away from it. It's got an ambient light sensor which will adapt the backlight to ambient lighting as it changes throughout the day which will save you a lot of battery. The backlight brightness can be adjusted manually using the F3 and F4 buttons. There's also a variety of backlight effects to choose from and you can toggle between them using Logi Options Plus or by pressing the FN and Bob keys together at the same time. Some keys on the MX Mechanical can also be customized to different app specific functions using the same Logi Options Plus, just like with the MX3. The Logi Options Plus is a brand new software which is an upgrade from the original Logi Options. On the app you can also check the battery life of your MX Mechanical keyboard amongst other things. If you plan on using the keyboard with a Logitech Flow enabled mouse like the 3 or the 3S, you'll be glad to know that you can now seamlessly move the keyboard along with the mouse across two to three computers even with different operating systems. You can also copy and paste files and documents across computers using the same Logitech flow. As for the new MX3S, you can choose between black, pale gray, and graphite for color. Personally, I opted for the graphite just so it matches the MX Mechanical. Its design is pretty much a replica of the original MX3 as well as most of its features. I've always loved the ergonomics of the MX3 and so the MX3S feels no different. Just like the MX3 as well, it might not feel as ergonomic for you if you have small hands or if you're left handed. Some other identical features to the MX3 are the 7 buttons which are fully customizable to app specific functions through Logi Options Plus. The amazing thumb scroll wheel which I love for scrolling horizontally through my editing timelines. The quiet and fast max speed scroll wheel which still works like a charm like it did on the MX3. You can also still choose to use the max speed and free spin or ratchet mode by using the mode shift button just below it to toggle between both of them. There's also a smart shift function which can be enabled through Logi Options Plus. It'll let the max speed automatically switch between spin and ratchet mode based on how you scroll with the wheel. If you scroll fast it switches to spin mode. If you scroll slowly it switches to ratchet mode. Underneath the mouse there's still a power switch as well as a small button for quickly switching between three paired devices. Honestly the main thing that separates the MX3S from the MX3 is how much quieter the new mouse is.
There's virtually no clicking noise from the buttons and tracking is better as well, especially across glass. You can set up to 8000 DPI for tracking on any surface and that value can be tweaked to your tracking preference using Logi Options Plus. The 3S also uses Logitech's Bolt receiver versus the unifying receiver used by the MX3. The difference between the two receivers is that you can pair a keyboard and mouse that both support bolt connectivity to a single bolt receiver, but unifying receivers can only be paired to one keyboard or a single mouse at any given time. If you're not going to be using Bluetooth, using a single bolt receiver to connect the MX mechanical and mouse will pretty much free up a USB port for another device. Other than those few differences, the MX3 and 3S are pretty much the same thing. The MX mechanical and 3S both charge very quickly and last for long stretches before needing another charge. It's expected that a 15 minute charge using the included USB-C cable should provide a full day of non-stop use for the MX mechanical, which is amazing. The same battery is expected to last for up to 15 days on a full charge and up to 10 months with the backlight turned off. I definitely can't confirm this yet since I haven't had it that long, but based on the battery life of similar devices from Logitech that I own, it's safe to say that this won't be an exception. It'll take one minute of charging using the same USB-C cable to get around three hours of use from the MX3S, which is similar to the MX3. On a full charge, the mouse can last up to 70 days without charging. In my experience with the MX3, this isn't far-fetched at all. It usually takes about one or two months for me to drain the battery on the MX3, like completely. I already love mechanical keyboards and the MX3 has been my preferred choice of mouse for productivity work for a while now. So as soon as I heard about this new release, I jumped on it immediately. Personally, I've been looking for something to use alongside my K2 10 keyless keyboard and the full set MX mechanical fit that build perfectly. I could have kept the MX3, but I prefer graphite to black and my OG MX3 also wouldn't pair nicely with the MX mechanical because of the all black color. My recommendation would be to pick up the 3S if you don't already have the 3, but I've been looking to grab one already. You can also pick up the 3S if you just want an extra mouse or, you know, a different color. I'd recommend picking up either of the MX Mechanical or the Mini if you like mechanical keyboards at all and want one that's extremely reliable and versatile, especially for productive work. Logitech has built a reputation making great keyboards and mouse and they've been in that niche for as long as I can remember, so I'm sure these will work great for my workflow. That's pretty much all there is to say about my new keyboard and mouse productivity setup. Let me know in the comment section what you think about the new Logitech Master Series editions. Drop a like below if you enjoyed the video and subscribe to support the growth of the channel if you're new to it. Until the next video, it's Tommy with Midas Tech and I'm out y'all.